In this example, we're going to do another chi-square test of independence, but we're going to use our computer output to interpret it. So a study wanted to know if a person's age affects whether they watch the 11 a.m. news. So this is the raw data that I put in Excel with Megastat. You can see that I have my columns here are the ages of 18 and younger, 19 and 35, 36 and 54, and 55 plus. And then they're broken down into the categories of either watch news or don't watch news. So I put this in Excel just like that. I asked for a chi-square test of independence, and I also asked for the expected values. So this is what it gives me. You'll notice my headings are still the same, so 18 up to 55, and they either watch news or don't watch news. But you'll notice the bold ones are the observed, what I had here, and then the non-bold ones down below are my expected values. So it's kind of nice, it gives me all of my expected values. There's more things it'll give you if you ask, but I do like to at least see the observed and expected. So I could see like for 19 to 35 year olds, we observed 48, but if age and watching news were independent, we would have expected 53. Okay, it also gives me a chi-squared value, degrees of freedom, and a p-value. So first, let's double check using our formula that the expected, val the expected value for the 19 to 35 year olds that watch the news. Okay, so remember, to get an expected value, you do your row total times your column total divided by your overall total. So in our case, for the 19 to 35 year olds, we would look at the row total of 214 times the column total of 250 divided by our grand total of 1000. And I put this in my calculator, 214 times 250 divided by 1000 equals 53.5, which is what they gave me for my expected value. Okay. So you can see these are the formulas they're using, but it's kind of nice to have the computer do it for you. So let's conduct a hypothesis test to determine if age affects whether people watch the news. So because we want to see if something affects something, we're doing our chi-square test of independence. First you have to check your conditions, which is that all expected values are at least 5. Well, it looks like we have 53 is our smallest one, so we're definitely good there. It doesn't tell me an alpha, so I'll just choose alpha equals 0.05. For your hypotheses, the null hypothesis is always that they are independent. So age and watching the news are independent. That is always the null. Oops can actually write that. So the null is age and watching the news are independent, meaning they do not affect each other. And the alternative is that age and watching the news are dependent, meaning they do affect each other. Okay, that's always our null and alternative for the chi-square tests of independence. The null has to be the independence because that's how we actually calculate all of our probabilities. Then for our test statistic, we just look at our output, which is a lot easier than actually doing it by hand. My test statistic is a 16.38. I have three degrees of freedom. And my p-value is 0.0009. So now for your decision, you say, well, my p-value of 0.0009 is smaller than alpha equals 0.05. So that's a small p-value, so we will reject our null. And that means we have evidence for the alternative. So we have evidence that age and watching the news are 
dependent, meaning they affect each other. Now, our test itself doesn't tell you which one affects which or how it affects it. So the test doesn't say which one affects which one or how. All it says is that they affect each other. Now, I can use logic to try and figure this out and say that your age would have to affect whether or not you watch the news, which I'm sure the older the you are, the more likely, likely you are to watch the news because that seems to be more of a generational thing. Obviously, whether or not you watch the news is not going to change your age, so this has to be a one direction relationship. I know some people might say, oh, it's just so boring, it's aging me overnight, but that's not truly going to change your age. So in this case, it would have to be your age that affects whether or not you watch the news.